South Dakota's outdoor resources play a large part in our quality of life. They play a big part in who we are. It's no secret that healthy and thriving water and land habitats equal thriving fish and wildlife populations. As South Dakotans, we have a deep connection to our land and water, and there's a strong desire to do what we can to make things better. For generations, the sale of licenses has driven habitat development and access in this state. There are always more projects, improvements, and ideas for habitat. In 2020, the South Dakota State Legislature created a habitat stamp. New fees aren't something the Game Fish and Parks or the Legislature take lightly. So we want to show you where the money goes. I've been a licensed hunter in South Dakota for 50 years. I've seen the highs and the lows on pheasant numbers. I was here in the 70s and you'd hardly ever see a bird. Fast forward to the 80s and 90s and because of the CRP program with respect to habitat, there were clouds of pheasants everywhere. Shortly after I was elected to the legislature in 2018, I attended a meeting of the Wildlife Federation in Brookings and I met a gentleman by the name of Spencer Vaugh. Spencer had been an employee with the Game Fish and Parks for 38 years. And Spencer said that he enjoyed going to western Minnesota to hunt pheasants. I couldn't believe it. Longtime employee of Game Fish and Parks leaving the state to hunt pheasants. And I said, why? And he said, it's simple. Every year, Minnesota pumps $110 million into wildlife habitat. And because of it, they have birds. And so that got me to thinking, what could we do here in South Dakota to bring about better quality habitat? Interesting part of the legislation is that when someone purchases a fishing license, the habitat revenue will go toward fishing. If they happen to buy a license, small game, big game, the money goes toward terrestrial habitat. And if someone happens to buy a combination license, for both fishing and hunting, the money is evenly split. Everyone is going to benefit. Habitat stamp funds generated through the sales of hunting and fur bearer licenses will help us develop wildlife habitat and improve and enhance access to public lands across South Dakota. So the habitat stamp funds that are generated will be used to do a wide variety of habitat projects. Uh, projects will include nesting and brood rearing habitat, woody habitat for providing winter cover for wildlife, um, food plots, and access points to places to go hunting in the great outdoors. Another priority of the habitat stamp funds will be to provide access to hunters. These projects will include our well-known walk-in area program and another highly successful access program, the James River Conservation Reserve Enhancement Program. And let's not forget our finned friends either. Habitat stamp purchases will help fish habitats and fish populations as well. When people think of habitat, they often think of deer, pheasants, and grouse. But aquatic habitat is just as important to fish and fishing. Habitat stamp funds associated with fishing license sales will fund aquatic habitat projects on public waters across South Dakota, as well as projects that create or enhance public access to those waters. Dam maintenance, repairs, and replacements will be conducted on aging structures around the state. Boat docks, roads, and vault toilets may be added or improved to create more opportunities for users. Small-scale projects may include dredging, aeration, shoreline restoration, stream restoration, artificial and natural habitat structure placements, and outlet structure repair and maintenance. Large-scale projects may include whole lake restorations, river stream restorations, watershed improvements, sediment removal and controls, chemical renovations of the fish populations, riparian buffer zone creations, and habitat diversifications. Resident small game licenses are at the lowest level since 1938. That's really alarming. We need to figure out how to get young hunters and new hunters and get the hunters who may have hung up their shotguns many years ago excited about going back to the fields and the sloughs and the ponds again. But it all starts with habitat. 
and right behind habitat is access. And that's the reason for this legislation. So there you have it, where the money goes for the South Dakota Habitat Stamp. Thank you for investing in the future of South Dakota's outdoors.